In this section, we're going to look at negative exponents and scientific notation. In this particular video, I'm only going to focus on negative exponents. So, a negative exponent rule. If I've got b to the negative n, that's equal to its reciprocal. And if you get the reciprocal of that, it becomes a positive exponent. For instance, let me give you an example. Say I had 2 to the 4th over 2 to the 8th. In the last section, we knew that we could subtract. But now, if I subtract this, like it said in the last section, I'd subtract going up. But if I expanded this, I would have four twos on top, eight twos on the bottom. So those four would cancel with four of them down here, and I would actually end up with one over two to the fourth. That is why those are equivalent. Okay? Anytime you have a negative exponent, you need to take it, if it's in the numerator in this situation, take it to the denominator, and you are going to see problems where if it's in the denominator, Get the reciprocal, take it to the numerator, and when you do, it becomes positive. So, using the negative exponent rule, uh, to, re to write each expression with a positive exponent, then simplify the expression. Our answers in algebra always need to have positive exponents, except for one exception, and that's when we deal with scientific notation. So this one, I'm going to move that to the denominator and then I'm going to simplify. This one goes to the denominator and 4 to the third is 64. First thing you need to do is get rid of the negative exponent because you simplify the expression after that. So this would be 1 over negative 2 to the fourth and that would give me 1 to the positive 16. In this one, if I rewrite it, that negative 1 stays on top. Only the 2 is attached, or the, the negative 4 is attached to the 2, or vice versa, whichever way you want to look at it. But without parentheses, this negative is technically a negative 1. This would be 1 over 5, and that would be it for that particular problem. Negative exponents in numerators and denominators, like I was alluding to a little bit earlier, if it's in the numerator, take it to the denominator to make it positive. It's if it's in the denominator, you take it to the numerator. In this situation, I have got two negative exponents, one in the numerator, one denominator. And if you'll notice, the reciprocal is obtained, and when you do that, you have positive exponents. So now, we'll use that to do the next four problems. I would like you to pause me once you think you have the idea and, and do the other ones, and then check to see if you agree. So I'm going to move that to the numerator that to the denominator, and then I'm going to simplify. This one I have to distribute first, then get the reciprocal, and this one only the x is attached to the agamagot, I can't talk and write, so only the x to the negative 3 goes up. So actually that was my answer, but it looks sort of nasty. Here we are. In this one, I just flip them. There we are. Now, there's going to be a lot of problems on the next page, and I want you to get these steps down. This is the easiest way to go about fighting problems that have negative exponents, that have parentheses, and you have to go simplify them. First thing you do is remove all parentheses. So either use your power rule or the quotient rule when, you are, when it's raised to a power. Remember, it's the exponents are just distributed through. 
rewrite exponential expressions with zero powers as one and write answers with positive exponents. So you've got to get change this and then if you see any negative exponents, make them positive. The last thing you do is use your product rule or quotient rule to simplify. Now, the next page, a whole bunch. So, x to the fourth, 1 over x to the ninth. I subtract going to the larger exponent when they're both positive. That one was quick. Do your coefficients. I've got a 5 on top. Got to subtract going down. Think about canceling through it too. That, that sometimes makes it a little bit easier to see. So that into that. I got a negative 5 in the numerator. But I'm going to have y to the third on the bottom. Ooh, got multiplication. 3 times negative 2. Oh, I've got negative exponents. So I'll go ahead and multiply those, but i got to deal with those guys. So in this parentheses, I would have y squared over x cubed. In this parentheses, I would have x over y cubed. I went ahead and just multiply my coefficients, but it's only the exponents that I have to worry about. Now check this out. I've got an x here and it can subtract one way from that one, so that means I'm going to have an x squared in the bottom. And I've got a y squared here and a y cubed here, so this one outnumbers that one by 1. Okay, next one. All positive exponents. I was just going under the assumption they were all positive. I didn't really look. Coefficients, I'm going to have a negative 3. My x's, I'm going to have 2 in the bottom, and my y's, I'll have 3 on top. So I see negative exponents, so let me go ahead, because the coefficients stay where they're at. Any positive exponent, this one stays. This one goes up to the numerator. That one goes up to the numerator. And that y to the fifth comes down. Now let's play with it. Negative 5 into 15, I'm going to have a negative 3. I've got to use my product rule there. So I've got x to the fifth, but I've got to use my quotient rule here. And my y's, I'm going to have three of them in the denominator. There we are. Oh, I wrote it. I didn't write my 2. Whoopsie. Do do show me all your work. Because if I see that maybe you rewrote something wrong, then I will grade your problem. Sorry about that. I guess I was so excited when I circled it. Next part, I see parentheses followed by a power. Beware of negative uh, coefficients. They need to be in their own parentheses. And negative 4 squared will give me a positive 16 x to the 6 y squared. Negative exponent. Again, I distribute that through. Get rid of parentheses first. Only the things that have negative exponents are going to move. The y squared is fine in the numerator. So we're almost done. Here's that one. No negative exponents. I'm going to go ahead and distribute by taking all of these and multiplying the exponents by that 3. So x to the 12th. If you're going to miss one, it'll be that because you don't see it. Get rid of parentheses first. Get 
Anything negative exponents are going to move from their present location to the other. So these two are going to go to the numerator. And the only thing I've got to do here is find out what 2 to the third is. Okay. Parentheses followed by exponent. So I've got to take care of that first. Negative 5 squared is going to give me a 25. I've got 6 here, 10 down there, so I'm going to have 4 left in the denominator. Let me distribute. A negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. I'm going to have a negative. That'll be a 125. And if I subtract going down, that would be negative 125 over x. So try the homework on this, and hopefully these problems will help you with that homework. Okay.